Well, ladies and gentlemen, at this time we would like to introduce the starting lineups for tonight's third place game. First, for the visiting team on the scoreboard this evening, the Trojans of Armstrong Potomac, under head coach Dick Hipsher, assisted by Keith O'Banion. Starting at guard, a senior, number two, Abby Stewart. And for the home team, the Blue Devils of Bismarck hitting, under head coach Mike Stevens, assisted by Joe Foster, Hannah Ohl, and Dustin Dees. Starting at guard, the 5A junior, number two, Lindsay Andrews. At guard for the Trojans, a junior, number four. Back at the David S. Palmer Arena, Erica Sprague, the starter announced. For the Armstrong Potomac Lady Trojans, Matthew Baker alongside me. Susan Kintner and the Jocko and Lee Chamber Festival be Chicken and Strips Class Box. Now over to Bills and Martini. It's back over to Ellen Nelson for the Lady Blue Devils. Armstrong Potomac will be the visitors on the scoreboard. The Blue Devils, the home team for the state place game. Holly Hamilton! Now for the Lady Trojans, Holly Hamilton. At guard for the Blue Devils. Now back to the base mark hitting. Senior, number 24, Brooke Walsh. Brooke Walsh will be wearing number 24 tonight. At guard for the Trojans. Looks like a little senior, uniform change. Number 24, Mackenzie Vincent. Mackenzie Vincent for the Lady Trojans. Starting at four. Back for the Blue Devils. A 5'7 sophomore, number 10, now Abby Good. And one more for the Lady Trojans. Starting out forward for the Trojans, a junior, number 22, Ashley Gayhart. Armstrong Potomac, it's Abby Stewart, Erica Sprague, Holly Hamilton, Ashley Gayhart, and Mackenzie Vincent. It's Lindsay Andrews, Ellen Nelson, Abby Goods, Stephanie By, and Brooke Walsh. Armstrong Potomac in their visiting purple uniforms. Trojans ran across the front of the chest in yellow. Numbers on the front and back in yellow outlined in white. Got the yellow and white stripes down the pants. The Bismarck Kenning Lady Blue Devils in their home white uniforms. Devils ran across the front of the chest in blue. Numbers on the front and back in blue outlined in silver. Armstrong Potomac left to right. Bismarck Kenning right to left to begin this matchup. Yes, and uh, I think on both uh, sides of the court, you've got some youth. You've got a lot of juniors, a couple sophomores here for Armstrong, uh, only a couple seniors, and over here on Bismarck Henning, one senior, um, some juniors and a sophomore. So now the tip goes to the Lady Blue Devils. Walsh wins the tip over Sprague, and now Blue Devils turn it over on their first possession. A quick trap there by Armstrong um, in, uh, that caused the Devils to have a turnover. This is Sprague with the basketball for the Lady Trojans. Up the right side of the floor in front of us. Now she will drive inside. She picks it up now to hand off to Holly Hamilton. She drives to the baseline and she will pick up her feet and she will turn it over on the travel. Maybe a few nerves here in the county. Tournament third place game. Uh, so a few tournaments start the game off for both teams. 20 seconds into this first game, each team with one possession. They both turned it over. Now the second possession for the Lady Blue Devils. This is Nelson to Andrews. Andrews will drive right side. Now baseline, 15-footer. It's up and good as she rattles it home. Nice job by Lindsay Andrews. Uh, this is an all-around athlete. She's got uh, good speed, good jumping ability, and was able uh, to penetrate a little bit. Nice jump shot. This is Stewart for the Lady Trojans. She will drive baseline. She is fouled on the shot. She will go to the free throw line for two foul shots. Interesting story. Last, uh, last year when Armstrong Potomac was playing Bismarck Kenny, Abby Stewart had her knee injury. That was the ACL tear. And uh, she got, got back at the end of the volleyball season and um, Brown and determined to finish out her senior year in basketball and track this year uh, with her uh, coming back from the ACL tear. That's not tough to deal with that, or that is tough, excuse me, as you see both braces on each leg for her. She rattles home the second free throw. Cellular one free throws right there by Stewart. One of two from the foul line. Two to one, the Lady Blue Devils lead. Seven minutes and ten seconds left to go in this first quarter. This is Walsh with it. Walsh now to Nelson. Bounce pass in the lane for Bod, and they're going to call Sprague on the hold for the Lady Trojans. Sprague uh, in the front of their uh, 
Um, half court press there, being uh, pretty pesky, she's pretty quick, uh, picks up her first foul. Foul on Erica Sprague. So now first. Nelson gets it to Walsh, right back to Nelson. Nelson whips it through, she'll drive baseline. Now back to Walsh. Walsh tries to bounce pass inside. There's a kickball violation, so it will stay with the Blue Devils. Looks like Nelson took a little uh, hit to the eye there um, by Abby Stewart on the defensive end. So now inbound goes to Walsh. Walsh against Sprague, an interesting matchup. That is Walsh. interesting. Walsh drives in off the glass. It's no good. Stewart pulls it down from the Lady Trojans. Up the floor, this is Stewart. She loses it, gets it back on the baseline. Skip pass to Sprague. Sprague from 15. It's no good. Walsh pulls down the Mervis Recycling rebound. Get paid like a rock star for your scrap at Mervis Recycling. Walsh now to Andrews. Andrews far side of the floor. She drives baseline, and she will lose it out of bounds. There will be a turnover on the Blue Devils. Yeah, but she's really quick on that uh, baseline, so uh, I'm sure she's really going to have to come up and uh, get in front to, to cause that foul. Just got a little lucky there that she uh, took it out of bounds with a turnover. Sprague with it for the Lady Trojans. She looks to the corner, Stewart. Now the bounce pass gets it to Stewart. Two to one, Armstrong Potomac with the basketball. They trail six minutes and 10 seconds left to go in this first quarter. This one now for the Lady Trojans. Gayhart. Gayhart back to Stewart. Stewart on the drive. Left handed layup up and no good. And they call it for a charge. Uh, good positioning by uh, Stephanie Bott to take that charge. So now, back to Bismarck inning. Nelson to Walsh. Back across court to Nelson. Back to Walsh. Walsh now skip past Andrews. Far side on the right wing. Back to Nelson. Nelson will drive inside. Now the retreat dribble. She picks this one up. Looking. Gets it to Good. Good in the corner. Back to Nelson. The bounce pass to Andrews. Turn around jumper up and good for okay. Andrews. Nice job getting in the opening there for the jump shot. All four points for Bismarck hitting by Lindsay Andrews right now. They lead 4-1. to one. This is Sprague to Gayhart inside for the Lady Trojans. Now to Stewart in the corner. She will shoot the three. It's up and no good. And the ball is tipped out of bounds. It will go to Bismarck Henning. Nice hustle there by 22 Gayhart uh, for Armstrong Potomac, but uh, not enough room on the court, and it goes out of bounds. So now Walsh with it. She walks it up the floor, and you think Walsh would play in the post more, but she can also bring it up for the Blue Devils as she turns it over, but it will go back to the Blue Devils as Vincent steps on the out-of-bounds line. Yeah, and, uh, you know, being a left-hander as well, uh, and her size, uh, but she does handle the ball very well. Nelson to Andrews. Andrews, far side of the floor. Now back to Nelson. To Bott, the jumper for Stephanie Bott. It's up and no good. Andrews right there. The put back for her. Front iron. She gets her own rebound, and she follows it up with another two. Nice job. Keeping that ball alive uh, with the offensive rebounds and able to get the score. Up the floor. This is a three-pointer for Armstrong Potomac. It's no good. Now they're going to say jump ball will go back to Armstrong Potomac. And again, uh, good defense by Bismarck King. Good hustle by Abby Good to uh, get a hand on that ball for the jump. Vinson gets the ball inbound to Hamilton. Now to Stewart to Vinson. Vinson right back to Stewart. Stewart across court to Sprague. Sprague pump fakes, drives inside. She is fouled by Abby Good, and she will go to the free throw line for two shots. Um, excellent ball fake by uh, Sprague to put herself foul in position to get Abby some good. points for a team on the foul line. Team second. Free throws brought to you by Cellular One. Switch to Cellular One's blazing fast 4G speeds and great great plans to get two months of free service. Spring. This is the first one as now. This is going to be Maddie Gayhart for the Lady Trojans. She replaces Stewart. Second one on the way from Sprague. This one is up and good. Nice looking shot by Sprague. Again, Armstrong uh, putting in their 1-2-2 uh, uh, half-court press and then bringing it back into the 1-2-2 zone. Bismarck breaks it easily. Bot to Andrews. Andrews on the baseline with the retreat dribble. Now Walsh for three. It's up and good. Nice job by Brooke Walsh. I know. Uh, struggling a little bit with her offensive late. It's good to see her knock down that three. So a three-pointer brought to you by Tillman Trophy and Awards. As the shoulder seems fine to me. Yes. Looked good on that side. <laughs> Sprague with the basketball. She forces one inside. This is the Vincent. 
She has it. Deflected out of bounds. It will stay with the Lady Trojans. And that was a pass that uh, uh, threaded the needle there. It was a uh, good try on the catch by uh, Stewart. This is Gayhart inside. Now back out to the other Gayhart. The three-pointer up and no good. Holly Hamilton with the rebound for the Lady Trojans. Vinson back to Hamilton. Top of the key. Three minutes and 45 seconds left to go in the first quarter. This is Sprague inside. Sprague has her shot blocked, but she was fouled, and she will go back to the free throw line for two shots. And this will be an issue for Bismarck Kenny. They've got to be very careful on the fouls. And I think Armstrong Potomac, of course, knows that. Nick Hipsher, you know, doing a really good job with the, uh, with the Trojan girls the last couple of years. Um, they're not, Bismarck Kenny's not deep by any means. And uh, trying to get them in foul trouble is going to help Armstrong Potomac get a, a nice uh, first free throw shot by Sprague. Haley Johnson comes in for the Lady Trojans. And she's a freshman. This one by Sprague is up and good. And another thing for Armstrong Potomac, Sprague, she's short, so she can get a lot of defenders up in the air. Is now a referee timeout. A little issue. Don't know if Ba had blood or a shoe untied. Looks like blood. Yes. Alyssa Bell will come in. Good eye by the referee. <laughs> Nine to four, Bismarck hitting on top. Three minutes and 40 seconds up to go in the first quarter. Walsh across the 10 second line to Nelson, and Nelson throws it away for the Blue Devils. Uh, I, you know, there wasn't really any pressure, but I think, uh, you know, Armstrong Potomac's half court press um, caused that to happen a little bit. Sprague with the basketball. The handoff goes to Stewart. Stewart now will drive. She looks to handoff. She gets it to Maddie Gayhart. Now. Double teams, and there's going to be a reach and foul on Walsh. Yeah, got to be very careful out there. There's no reason um, to get a foul up, up top court there. So now, Holly Hamilton comes back in for the Lady Trojans. And the Trojans kind of run a platoon swap. They substitute pretty much five in and five out. Anyone can replace each other. And again, that could be to their advantage. Um, get some rest. Fresh legs. On the drive, left-handed layup up and good by Maddie Gayhart. Walsh had to back off of that, having just gotten her first foul. Nine to six. Lady Blue Devils still on top. They lead with three minutes, and now they're going to call a blocking foul on Maddie Gayhart. Yeah, Brooke, uh, Walsh is just too strong right there coming down the baseline. You're going to have to hold your ground. The foul on Maddie Gayhart. So now, checking into the game, here's Bosch. She replaces Bell. Looks like she's got her knee wrapped up pretty good, so hopefully no blood coming off that <laughs> This is Andrews. Left to right, now to Nelson. Nelson bounce pass to the middle, to Johnson, back to Walsh. Walsh drives inside from the baseline. It's up and no good, but she is fouled on the play. So Brooke Walsh will head to the free throw line for two shots. I can see that being an advantage for Bismarck Kenning right now. You know, Brooke is, was running the ball at the point. Now she's uh, closer here to the basket. Yeah. With her ability to drive the right hand side, it's going to hurt down Armstrong. At the line for the Blue Devils, Brooke Walsh. Here's Walsh from the cellular one free throw line. It's up and no good. Nine to six, Blue Devils still on top. Under three minutes left to go in this first quarter. For third place, Walsh. Second free throw on the way. It's up and good. Nice looking free throw on the second one. Got her legs into a little bit more. 10 to 6 now. Armstrong Potomac with the basketball. They do trail by four. Two minutes and 45 seconds left to go in the first quarter. This is Ashley Gayhart. Gayhart on the drive. Left-handed layup up and good for two. Yeah, she took that up against the freshman, Amy Johnson. I think it was a good recognition there uh, on that dribble drive. Walsh to Nelson. Nelson on the drive. Has it. Out of bounds as they're going to say she dribbled on the baseline. It's a turnover on the Blue Devils. Yeah. A little trouble there. Um, just don't want to go in that corner when you've got that trapping 1-2-2 two, two half court press. That's where they want to lead you and get you in trouble. Grace Harris, the new sub for the Lady Blue Devils. This is Hamilton, the bounce pass to Gayhart. Two freshmen out there now with Johnson and Harris. This one on the floor. Driving to the hoop, Maddie Gayhart now in the corner. Three-pointer up and no good. And ball on the floor. It's going to be Armstrong Potomac basketball. Nice fight uh, by Armstrong to get that uh, basketball off the floor. Top of the key, this is Stewart. Stewart with the ball screen. Puts Andrews on her back. Now going against Bott. This one deflected by Bott. It stays with the Lady Trojans. Backdoor cut. 
Vincent missed it. It goes to Stewart, and now Stewart is fouled, and she will go to the free throw line for two shots. Um, maybe it's a, a little bit, uh, whose ball is it? Because that ball was uh, going in the air in a lot of different places, and I uh, uh, got lucky that Bach kind of bailed him out on that one uh, with a foul. Who doubles with five team fouls already, uh, Stewart? Yes. At the free throw line, knocks down her first free throw. As now Wall Street places are for the Lady Trojans. This is going to be Angela Seaburns. She replaces Mackenzie Vincent. Seaburns brings a little height to the Armstrong Potomac Trojans because they really don't have much out there with their, their starting five. Stewart, this one up and good. Nice job by Abby Stewart. Also, he knocked down those two free throws. Erica Ray replaces Abby Stewart. And we are tied at 10 apiece. One minute and 50 seconds left to go in this first quarter. Blue Devils 10, Armstrong Potomac 10. Blue Devils with the basketball right now. Walsh, top of the key, puts it on the floor, looks inside, nothing there. So she goes to Andrews, far side. She will penetrate and pull it back out. Now Nelson, Nelson, the rip through, back to Andrews from the baseline. It's up and good, and she's knocked that one down before. Yes, she has. That seems to be her spot right now. Scored a... Almost all of the points for Bismarck King. All but four coming from Walsh. 12 to 10 now. Sprague with the basketball. She almost lost it. She picks it up and now gets it to Gayhart. On the drive. This is Seaburns. Back to Sprague. Now this is Hamilton in the lane. Her floater up and no good. Pulled down by Andrews. It's a little bit too hard, but it was a really good look by uh, Hamilton. Walsh up the floor. Down low. Now a bounce pass in the middle of the lane. Johnson, her shot no good, and Seaburns pulls it down. Sprague with it. 50 seconds for the Lady Trojans. They trail by two, 12 to 10. Sprague, the handoff to Gayhart. Gayhart driving in the lane. She dumps it off to Seaburns. Her shot blocked by Walsh, and Johnson pulls it down. Oh, that was a great pass to Seaburns. Just not strong enough to get it up. Now back up. The floor for the Blue Devils. Ball is on the floor, and it's going to be deflected and stolen away by the Trojans. And a crossover from Gayhard up the floor. She loses it. Now Nelson comes away with it. Uh, tough go going up in town. We've had a couple of loose balls. Um, each team playing as hard as they can. Ten seconds left to go in this first quarter. Blue Devils with the basketball. They lead by two. Walsh going against the zone. She's going to drive inside now to Andrews. Andrews puts the ball on the floor, shot up and good for two. Well, Armstrong needs to get out there defensively on that shot because that's been a money ball for Bismarck Henning. Blue Devils lead after one, 14 to 10 over the Lady Trojans here on 1490 WDAN and VermilionCountyFirst.com. We begin a second quarter of play inside Bismarck Henning with the basketball. Their layup's no good as now ball is on the floor. Tripped away by Andrews and the Blue Devils. This one down low for Andrews. Stop and pop again. Her shot no good. And it will go to the Lady Trojans. 14 to 10, Bismarck over Armstrong Potomac after one. And Susan, we talked about it during the uh, during the break, excuse me. A lot of youth on both teams. Yes, yeah, so really only one uh, senior leadership for both Walshaw for Bismarck Henning and Stewart. For Armstrong Potomac. Sprague with the basketball. And now a collision by Armstrong Potomac. Hamilton is able to get it to Vincent. And Vincent, or excuse me, now to Stewart. Stewart to Sprague. Sprague will drive inside. Her shot is up and no good. And she may have gotten fouled. No call. And now there is going to be a foul called 
on Ashley Gayhart. Yeah, Sprague uh, yeah, did not get the call on that uh, drive. Maybe uh, it's a little bit harder going up. She'll get it next time. 14 to 10, Lady Blue Devils over the Lady Trojans. Seven minutes left to go in the second quarter. This is Bott to Good. Now, a cross court right in front of us. This is Harris, and now a pass down low is no good for the Blue Devils. It's a turnover and back the other way. This is Stewart with the basketball. Stewart to Vincent. Vincent to Hamilton for three. It's up and no good. It rolls over the top of the backboard. She had, some, she had a pretty good arch, but uh, just kind of fell off the wrong way off the rim and up and over. Five, and Nelson come in for that one, and number 25, Grace Harris. Bismarck's got their starting five back in right now. Armstrong Potomac, they have their starting five out there as well. Walsh to buy. Back to Walsh. Walsh will stop and pop, and it's on the way. No good. And it's going to be a battle for the basketball. It's going to stay with this Mark inning. Holly Hamilton out there, uh, number 10, is doing a very good job of hustling after every play. She's been on the floor on, for most of the evening working hard. This is Walsh. She has it stripped to good as now it goes back to Andrews. Andrews with the rip through, stop and pop in the lane, and Lindsey Andrews knocks down another two. Lindsey Andrews uh, has a really great shot on that little jumper. She has 12 of the 16 points for the Blue Devils. They lead by six. This is Stewart inside. And down low, Walsh with the block. Stewart trying to uh, get something going underneath, uh, trying to get the foul. But Brooke Walsh with a nice long arms getting that block shot. Armstrong Potomac. This will be Vincent to inbound. She gets it into Hamilton. Hamilton fakes the pass for Sprague and now gets it to Vincent in the corner. Vincent puts it on the floor. Now the handoff goes to Hamilton. Hamilton will drive baseline. Her shot up and no good. And ball on the floor. Once again, it goes to Armstrong Potomac. Now Stewart. It's no good. And now the ball will be out of bounds. It will go to the Lady Trojans again underneath their own basket. Again, Armstrong Potomac really trying to do a good job. Um, rebounding. So now, Vincent. The outlet pass to Sprague. Sprague gets it, puts it on the floor, will drive to the hoop, and Walsh will foul her. Maybe a little body there on her. And <laughs> I, I definitely think she went up harder that time than she did the uh, time before Walsh. That's the second foul on Walsh. Uh, Sprague is also a standout track star. She uh, runs uh, for the Oakwood Armstrong Potomac Co-op and Track. Pretty quick. Yes. This is Haley Johnson. This is what confuses me in the tournament. Armstrong, Potomac, and Oakwood are two different teams, but then they co-op with some sports, so you just have to divide each sport up for each team. You do, and, and they've been very successful with the track program uh, with, with the county track for the last couple of years, too. They co-op in football, not basketball, but for track they do, so... The second free throw is missed by Spray. It's out of bounds. It will go to Bismarck Henning. 16 to 11. Blue Devils over the Lady Trojans early in the second quarter. Haven't seen uh, much offensive output yet by Mackenzie Vincent. She's been the high scorer for Armstrong for this tournament, so we'll see if she can get going. And now they're going to switch up. Spray is no longer on Walsh. Hamilton is, and Walsh brings it up the floor. Now gives it to Nelson. Nelson right in front of us. Bounce pass to Harris. Harris inside goes to Bond on the baseline. Back to Nelson. Nelson puts it on the floor, and Abby Stewart is going to foul her. Nice move by Nelson. Try to get around uh, Stewart, and uh, was able to pick up the foul. Maddie Gayhart will come in for the Lady Trojans. She replaces Stewart. Coach Hipster really trying to, uh, you know, do a good job of controlling uh, the players and making sure that nobody gets in foul trouble. Nelson to Andrews. She has it stripped from Sprague. Now Andrews gets it back on the far side in the corner. Goes to Walsh. Walsh a skip pass to Johnson. Johnson too hard. And it's pulled down by Gayhart. Yeah, wide open shot there by Johnson. With freshman nerves probably. 16 to 11. Armstrong Potomac basketball. They trail by five. Five minutes left to go in this first half. Sprague on the backdoor cut. She had it, but she picks it up and now goes to Vincent. Now right to us. 
and out of bounds. Good it try on the catch. <laughs> only had one hand over the scores bench. As Harris comes back into the ball game for the Lady Blue Devils. They'll send it inbound. She gets it to Walsh, but it's deflected, and now there's going to be a tie-up, and it will go to Armstrong Potomac. And that was the result of Holly Hamilton, too. A um, little switch up defensively by Nick Hipsher, by Coach Hipsher, putting Hamilton on Walsh and Sprague on Lindsey Andrews. So now, across the timeline, right to left, this is Sprague with this. Sprague gets the ball screen. Picks up her dribble, now goes to Vincent. Vincent shoots the three, it's up and good. Well, I just said, I wondered where she was off that three, and she must have been listening. So, three point by Vincent. Holly Hamilton picks up the foul underneath as the ball is inbounded to Walsh, and here comes free throws for the Lady Blue Devils. Yeah, maybe uh, Hamilton a little bit overzealous there. You're not going to do any really too much damage back here. You haven't gotten the ball over the 10-foot line, so. A little risky on that one. Walsh with the cellular one, one and one free throw on the way. This one is up and that's good, so she will get another one. Nice shot there by Big Walsh. Nonetheless, a three-pointer brought to you by Tilton Trophy and Awards from Vincent. Back the other way, this is Walsh at the free throw line as she was fouled. The second free throw is up and no good. It's going to stay with the Blue Devils as Vincent tipped it down of bounds. Yeah. Needed a block out there and would have been able to have that rebound. The lead is three for the Blue Devils, 17 to four. Four and a half left to go for the first half. As now this is Johnson to Harris. Harris to skip pass to Nelson. Nelson puts it on the floor. She will drive inside. Her shot up and good for two. Nice shot. See Nelson with a couple of points right there. She had a little trouble earlier with a couple of turnovers off, right off the bat. And Good to see her get some positive results there. Sprague gets the ball screen from Gayhard. This one goes to Vincent. Vincent drives inside. Now hands it back off to Holly Hamilton. Hamilton on the drive gets it to Gayhart. Gayhart loses it. Now down low they get it to Gayhart and she saves it back out to Hamilton for three and she knocks it down. It's another Tilton Trophy and Awards three-pointer located at 1920 South Washington and Tilton calling at 442-9273. Now, now they've got Gayhart on uh, Lindsay, almost a steal. Andrews driving in back to Nelson, free throw line extended, it's up and no good. Walsh pulls it down for two. Nice job uh, by uh, Brooke Walsh, the offensive rebound, put it back. 21-17. The lead is four. Armstrong Potomac with the basketball. They trail. Sprague driving inside. Now on the floor, she loses her dribble, and she will travel and turn it over. Yeah, came back up off that knee. It's a County Market Bakery turnover. Your Village Mall Town Center and Tilton Bakery teams are ready to serve you seven days per week. As now Healy Hamilton checks in for the Lady Trojans. Inbound goes to Walsh. And the Hamilton girls are twins. Nelson, down low to Harris. Now back out to Nelson for three. It's in and out, no good off the backboard. As that was kind of strange. It's pulled down yeah. by Gayhart. Gayhart coast to coast, left-handed layup up and good. Ashley Gayhart. It's back to a two-point game. So back and forth we go. It's a seesaw battle. Under three minutes left to play for this first half. Walsh with it. She's going to drive inside now to Harris, to Nelson. Top of the key, this is Andrews, and she is bumped by Maddie Gayhart. And Maddie Gayhart is the freshman uh, from Armstrong Potomac. They've got her out on um, Andrews right now. The foul on Andrews will go for the free throw line for the one and one right now as C. Burns comes in for the Lady Trojans. See who Coach Hipster puts on Andrews this time. Lindsay Andrews. Andrews so far, 12 points. Looking for number 13. It's no good. She missed the one and one. It's pulled down by Ashley Gayhart. And now a full Meyer timeout from Nick Hipster and the Armstrong Potomac Lady Trojans. We will take it as well. Blue Devils 21, Lady Trojans 19 here on 1490 WDAN and Vermillion County First.com. Two minutes and 38 seconds until halftime.
Welcome back to the David S. Palmer Arena here on 1490 WDAN and Vermillion County First Side Com. Matthew Yoko alongside me. Susan Kintner for the third place game. Armstrong Potomac with the basketball inside. This one is up and no good. Blocked out of bounds by the Lady Blue Devils. Seaburns had a layup inside, but she gave it up. She did. She had a layup inside. She just needed to go up strong, and that would have been some foul trouble there um, for Bismarck Henny. This one inbounded to Gay Hart is deflected and out of bounds. Andrews last to touch it, so she will come back and give it back to the referee as it will be Armstrong Potomac basketball. Vincent to inbound for the Lady Trojans. She gets this one in across court to Hamilton as she now picks it up. Right in front of us, she's Little trapped. Here. Hey, I'm strong. She gets this one off to Ashley Gayhart. Gayhart puts it on the floor. Now looking for someone. She gets it to Hamilton in the corner. This is Haley Hamilton to Seaburns. Seaburns to Vincent. Vincent right in front of us on the right wing. She puts it on the nice board pass. down low to uh. Gayhart and is blocked out of bounds. It will stay with the Trojans, but a good pass inside right there. Under two minutes left to play for the first half, 21 to 19. Armstrong Potomac with the basketball, he do trail. This one inbounded to Gayhart, and she will walk and turn it over. Eight turnovers for the Lady Trojans. A little hesitation there, I thought she that kind of turned. If she pivoted and went to the basket, she, she might have had a good look. Andrews with the basketball, Nelson. Walsh on the bench, or excuse me, now on the floor, far side, but she's not bringing the ball up anymore as this one goes inside the Walsh on the baseline. Back out to Harris. Harris will shoot it up and no good. Pulled down by the Blue Devils. A put back, no good, and now ball is still on the floor. It goes back to Walsh. Walsh inside, stop and pop in the paint. Front iron, no good, and it's pulled down, and there's going to be a foul on the Blue Devils. Again, I think Coach, Coach Hipster's getting a little bit frustrated. He's got a plan. I think his plan on the last couple of series was get it inside and try to pull a foul um, out of uh, Brooke Walsh. And, uh, just didn't go the way he wanted to go. But uh, Seaburns was able to pull down, uh, rebound, and uh, get the foul. So now on the line, shooting at the line with the to get a few points. Seaburns at the Sailor 1 free throw line for the 1-1. One one. This one up and no good, and it's pulled down by Walsh. 21-19. Blue Devils still on top by two. They have the basketball. This one's deflected, and it will go to the Lady Trojans. They're going to stay off of Bismarck Henning. Uh, nice work by Mackenzie Vincent to get her hand in the passing lane. and just happened to get touched last by Bismarck Henning. Ashley Gearhart comes back in for Seaburns. They just kind of rotate those eight players in and out so far. One minute and 11 seconds left to go in the get, or excuse me, in the first half. This is Gayhart with it. Gayhart now to Hamilton in the corner for three. It's up and good. Yeah, Walsh didn't get out on her. Holly Hamilton knocks down the three pointer. And, and then uh, here again, this Hamilton getting that foul. I just just don't think you need to be that aggressive. Uh, out right out there. She's not going to hurt you. Well, she's not going to hurt you out there. And uh, that hurts because Holly Hamilton's just been doing a heck of a job. It's another Tilton Trophy and Awards three-pointer located at 1920 South Washington in Tilton. Offering a variety of trophies, plaques, medals, and internet competitive discount prices. Give them a call at 442-9273. Open Monday through Friday, 1030 to 530 evenings by appointment. So the foul will send Walsh to the free throw line. One and one on the way. It's up and good, so she will get another crack at the free throw line. Free throws brought to you by Cellular One. Okay, a nice looking shot by Walsh. You don't want to put her on the line. Walsh, next one up and good. She knocks down both. And see, that's where you hit the three to take the lead, and then you commit the foul in the backcourt, and you get, you're down by one again. Yeah, exactly. So I'm sure Coach Hipster's not too happy about that. Spray with the basketball. The handoff goes to Hamilton, but it's stolen away by the Blue Devils. Armstrong Potomac, another county market bakery turnover. Now up the floor, Walsh out of bounds. And it's going to be a turnover on the Blue Devils. Uh, each team kind of having a little problem, a little, little rushing, uh, little, need a little bit more control. 
35 seconds left to go in the first half. Armstrong Potomac with the basketball. They trail by one. 23-22 for third place in the 2015 Vermillion County Tournament. This is Gay Hart. Gay Hart the skip pass for three. It's Hamilton. This one up and no good. Haley Hamilton missed it. And now she gets to tie up and it goes to Bismarck Kinney. But a good job right there of causing the jump ball. She did three. She didn't, you know, she didn't rest on her laurels. She went back after and was able to get the jump ball, but it does go to Bismarck Henny. So now, Haley Hamilton will go against Walsh to Nelson, back to Walsh. Walsh up the right side of the floor, across the 10 second line, behind her back, now right to left, top of the key, and she will pull it out. Five to shoot. Walsh on the drive, she's gonna have it stripped away for just a second, and now a shot at the buzzer is up and no good. A four minute timeout for halftime. It's 23 to 22, the Bismarck hitting Lady Blue Devils leading at halftime by one of the Armstrong Potomac Lady Trojans in the third place game here on 1490 WDAN and VermilionCountyFirst.com. Back at the David S. Palmer Arena for second half action here on 1490 WDAN and Vermillion County First Todd Com. Matthew Goken alongside me, Susan Kintner, and Armstrong Patola got out of the got the ball out of the second half as now they have it right now. This is Vincent. Vincent her three off the mark. Saved by Walsh, but going to the free throw line was Ashley Gayhart earlier. She had one of two, so Susan, this game is tied up at 23. Real quick, your second half keys to the game for each team. Well, I think Armstrong Potomac is going to have to really uh, try to put this Mark Henning into some foul trouble. I think they're going to have to get down the post, they're going to have to dribble drive, and uh, Bismarck Henning is uh, they're going to have to you know be patient I think offensively um, they're going to have to look for their open shots you know, Lindsay Andrews does a good job of knocking them down I think they got to be got to be patient continue their pretty good defense so it's a very good defensive play right there this one on the sideline it's out of bounds it will go to Bismarck Henning so it's a turnover on the Lady Trojans to begin the second half of play. We are tied at 23 apiece. Bismarck Henning and Armstrong Potomac playing for third place in this county tournament. One minute into the third quarter, Bismarck Henning basketball. This is Walsh with it right in front of us to Andrews. And Susan, not only that, you talked about for Bismarck Henning, Andrews with 12, Walsh for 9. Armstrong Potomac defensively has to take those two players out of the game. Uh, definitely. You, you've got it. You got, uh, right now they're in that 2-3 uh, zone, packing it in a little bit. Uh, nice move by Bott. Now a weak side rebound by Good as she has her shot blocked. It goes back to Andrews. Andrews is going to drive in the paint. Now back to Bott. Free throw line extended. It's up and no good. Walsh right there. The pull back is up and good for two points. Whoa. And Walsh in good position there uh, on the left side post to pick up that offensive rebound. 25 to 23. The lead at two for the Lady Blue Devils. This one stripped. But Spray gets it back for the Lady Trojans. Now the handoff goes to Stewart. Stewart. Crossover, dribble drive inside, back out to Hamilton for three. It's up and no good. Out of bounds, it will go to Bismarck Henning. Armstrong Potomac having a little trub trouble with spacing. Um, they're just, uh, the spacing right now, they're not getting uh, very good looks offensively because uh, uh, just too close to one another. You need to spread out a little bit more. 25 to 23, Blue Devil basketball and the lead. Five minutes and 55 seconds up to go in this third quarter. This is Nelson to the bot. Right back to Nelson on the free throw line extended. It's up and no good. 
Short off the rim, pulled down. It's a Murgis recycling defensive rebound by the Lady Trojans. This is Stewart up the floor. Stewart going against Walsh. Now to Sprague. Sprague gets a ball screen. She'll drive inside. Kicks it to Hamilton for three. It's up and no good. She just and really wasn't set on that shot. That's what I thought as well. Low, low pass. It's tough. Just kind of forced it and back the other way. This is Walsh. She was fouled. They're going to say it was on the floor, though. See who they give it to. It's going to be on... The foul on Holly Hamilton. Yes. Third, third, uh, it's her third, too. So, uh, Abby good for Bismarck with three, and Holly Hamilton from Armstrong with three. And uh, Hamilton's really been a defensive stopper, so this is going to be a tough one. Well, I misses the inbound now. I blocked the other way. It's Walsh inside. She blocks Sprague. Sprague's now. just not going up hard enough. I mean, she's there. Um, she just needs to try to draw that foul. Now, Walsh over to Bot. Bot's going to drive inside back to Nelson. Nelson to Andrews. Andrews looking inside. Nothing there, so she goes to Nelson. Nelson puts it on the floor back to Bot on the baseline and throughout the tournament that has been Bot's shot but right now she just isn't able to get it to go down. Back to Nelson to Andrews. Andrews is going to drive inside. She has it stripped away and it's going to be a county market bakery turnover on the Blue Devils. Now up the floor this is Sprague with it. A retreat dribble and it's going to go to Hamilton. Hamilton off the dribble. Picks it up. Now Sprague drives baseline. She has her shot blocked and it's going to stay with the Armstrong Potomac Lady Trojans. Uh, checking into the game, this is Maddie Gayhart. You have to give Sprague some credit. Yes. 5-1, five, 5-2, and Brooke Walsh about 5-11. Yeah, trying to go up against her. Going right at her, Maddie Gayhart now to Stewart, and she knocks down the three-pointer brought to you by Tilt Trophy and the Wards. That's uh, kind of a gift because it was kind of a give and go between uh, uh, Bismarck and, and Armstrong on that uh, rebound, and it popped into Stewart's hands. Good down low. Her shot up and no good off the glass. It's pulled down by the Trojans. Now Vincent up the floor. Vincent to Gayhart. Maddie Gayhart with the basketball. She's going to drive inside. Now to Stewart. Stewart, top of the key. Has the five count. She puts it on the floor. Now it goes to Ashley Gayhart. Gayhart. Looking inside, she has to put it on the floor. She does, now drives inside, kicks it out. Three on the way for the Trojans, it's up and no good. And good will pull it down as now Abby Sewell will pick up her third foul. Yes. And, and that's, that's exactly what Coach Hipster is just getting really frustrated. I don't think he wanted that at shot taken. Um, on the three points, flying there by Gayhart. And uh, now Abby Stewart, his senior leader, has got to come to the bench with three points for a rest. And he's got both his, two of his best defensive players right now, with three fouls, Hamilton and Stewart sitting on the bench right now. So this Mark Kenny needs to really take advantage of this. Nelson to Bot, Bot, her shot up and no good. Walsh right there to pull her down. She missed it. A couple of power dribbles, and now they're going to say Sprague held her. That's going to be Erica Sprague's second foul. And uh, right now, you know, Armstrong Potomac is really yeah, undersized. Well, and you'll, you'll see Bismarck Henning try to take advantage of that going into with Walsh. Andrews yeah. on the drive. It's up and no good. Out of bounds. Last touched by a Trojan. So it's going to stay with the Blue Devils. Nelson has to get it. It's out by the band. But the band right there. So I thought she was going to pick up an instrument and play <laughs> for a minute. <laughs> Who knows? Instead of play basketball, maybe teams play instruments. Yeah. Now, Andrews, they're going to call Sprague with a third That's foul. The, oh, he, uh, Coach Hipshire is, uh, I can just imagine what he's going through right now. And now he's got to put Hamilton back in. Well, 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 this well, is going to well, play well, right well, into what uh, the well, Blue Devils want to do yeah, now. Uh, they well, can go well, after Armstrong well, and, well, and uh, know that, you know, they may have to, Trojans may have to back off a little bit. Nelson gets in down to Walsh. Walsh looking inside, puts it on the floor, has it stripped for just a moment. She gets it back and out. Turn around, the jumper no good, pulled down by the Trojans. Armstrong Potomac leading by one, 26 to 25. Three minutes left to go in the third quarter. This one, Hamilton inside, dumps it down low off the glass and good for two points. Nice pass by Haley Hamilton into Gayhart, the post. The lead is three, 28-25. I'm stronger with Bismarck King. Mike Stevens wants a timeout. We will take a Meyer timeout with him. 28-25. I'm stronger with Bismarck King. Two minutes and 52 seconds left to go in the third quarter on 1490 WDAN and VermillionCountyFirst.com.
Coming out of the Meyer timeout, Meyer is proud to support local high school athletics in the Vermilion County Tournament and around the area. Bismarck hitting with the basketball. They trail by three, 28-25, two minutes and 45 seconds up to go in the third quarter. Nels, Nels, or excuse me, Ella Nelson right to Walsh for two. Yes, as frustrated as uh, Coach Hipster is probably with fouls, Coach Stevens is probably pretty upset about the offensive output right now, and thanks to Brooke Walsh that uh, Jay Hart. alleviated that a little bit. On the offensive rebound, it's up and no good, but Vincent down low gets it back out to Hamilton. Hamilton has it right in front of us, bounce pass to the other Hamilton. She drives and she has her shot blocked by Walsh. It goes to Nelson. Nelson to Walsh, and now a couple of players hitting the deck yeah, for Nelson each Nelson and uh, Andrews <laughs> taking each other out there. Up the floor, this is Nelson to Andrews. Two minutes left to go in the third quarter. Skip pass to Bot. Bot a little bit inside. Yeah, and partially deflected there. It's saved by Nelson, and Gayhart has it for the Trojans. Up the sideline in front of us. This is Maddie Gayhart with it. Gayhart almost stolen away. It went to Hamilton. Ba had a read on it. It goes back to Gayhart in front of us. This is Ashley Gayhart to Holly Hamilton. Hamilton on the drive, kicks it out for three. It's up and good yeah, by Maddie Gayhart. Now Maddie Gayhart made good on that three-point. I don't think Coach Hipster will be too upset about that one. A Tilton Trophy and awards three-pointer by the Armstrong Potomac Lady Trojans. We knew they could shoot coming into this one, but right now they are on fire. Nelson inside. Down low to Walsh. Walsh off the glass. Too strong. Head back by Bond is good for two. Nice to see Bond get involved offensively. And sometimes that's all it takes for a player just to see that one fall down. Yes. A little confidence now. 60 seconds for the quarter. Armstrong Potomac with the basketball in the lead. 31 to 29 over Bismarck Henning on the floor. This is Gayhart to Hamilton for three. It's up and no good. Walsh pulls it down for the Lady Blue Devils. A Mervis Recycling rebound. Get paid like a rock star for your scrap at Mervis Recycling. And then a turnover by the Blue Devils. Up the floor. This is Ashley Gayhart off the steal. No good. Holly Hamilton on the putback is good for two. Nice follow by Holly Hamilton to keep going. Uh, to follow up uh, with, that, with that fast break there by Gayhart. The seal in the bucket for the Gayhart and the Lady Trojans. 33-29, Armstrong Patrol with the Bismarck Inning. A quick wire timeout here on 1490 WDAN. out of the Meyer timeout. Bismarck Henning shot up and no good. He goes out of bounds. It'll be Armstrong Potomac ball at the buzzer right here. This is Sprague. She gets the ball screen in the corner. Gay Hart has to force it and it's down low and the shot is going to be no good at the buzzer. Here on 1490 WDAN and Vermillion County First.com. The last eight minutes coming up. 33 to 29 Armstrong Potomac over Bismarck Henning on 1490 WDAN and Vermillion County First.com.
We head to the fourth quarter here at the David S. Palmer Arena in the third place championship game. Matthew Yoker alongside me, Susan Kinder. Eight minutes on the clock, 33 to 29. Armstrong Potomac over Bismarck, Kinney, and Susan. This last eight minutes, they're going to be interesting to say the least as Nelson has it for the Lady Blue Devils. They trail by four. Yeah, Lindsay Andrews, we haven't seen uh, much out of her yet in the second half. Walsh inside up and good. She gets it to roll over the rim for two points. Whoa! And Walsh, will be, Walsh is the go-to girl here. Sprague with the basketball. Trojans lead by two. This is Stewart with it. Stewart now hands it off to Gayhart. Ashley Gayhart back to Sprague. Sprague will shoot the three. It's up and good for Erica Spray. And that was set up by that double penetration from Gayhart. Popped that ball out to Sprague. He was wide open on the three-point line. It's an hour. Tillum Trophy and awards three-pointer for the Lady Trojans. Now Bob back the other way. She knocks down the wall too. Nice more confidence boost there for Bot. 36-33, Sprague with the basketball for the Lady Trojans. She will drive inside the kick out to Stewart. Stewart will shoot the three. It's blocked by Bob. She gets it back and then stripped away. It's going to be Bismarck hitting basketball. Yeah, I was going to say Sprague better watch that. I want to pick up that fourth foul early in the fourth quarter. Six minutes and 35 seconds left to go in this quarter and the game. Third place on the line. Bob with it, far side. Back top of the key to Nelson. Swing pass to Andrews, left open. She will drive... Now the baseline and forces one. It's going to be a turnover on the Blue Devils. They pick up by uh, Vincent in the lane. Vincent up the floor to Gayhart, and she's going to walk and turn it over. Nice uh, look by uh, Vincent to give it to Gayhart, but uh, just couldn't handle that pass. 36 to 33. Six minutes and 15 seconds left to go. Now some pressure. It's a 1-2-2 two, two half-court trap by the Lady Trojans. Nelson gets it to Bot. Back to Walsh. Walsh. Right back to Bot, far side on the left wing. Top of the key goes to Nelson. Right back to Bot. Under six to play in this fourth quarter. Now to Andrews, back to Nelson, top of the key. Bot inside, back to Andrews. Working it around the perimeter, inside out. They go down low for Walsh. Walsh, the bounce pass in the lane, off the glass and good for Haley Johnson. Nice job by the freshman Haley, Haley Johnson. Johnson. He'll be available for the pass from Walsh. Stewart up the floor for the Lady Trojans. Free throw up and no good, but she was fouled, and she will go to the free throw line for two shots. Let's see who they call the foul on. I think it'll be... They're going to say Johnson? Foul on Haley Johnson. Yeah, Haley Johnson. Team second at the line for the Trojans. And Abby Stewart at the cellular one free throw line. That's one up and good. Shot Abby Stewart. She'll be back in the game for the Blue Devils. Yeah, Abby Good replaces Johnson. And you talk about Abby Stewart coming off that ACL tear. It's unbelievable that she's playing again. Good for her. Yes. She knocks down another one. And she doesn't, uh, you know, shouldn't let up at all. There she was going right to the ground, you know, trying to get that foul. And she has no let up on defense. She's very active on both ends of the floor as well. 38 to 35. Armstrong Potomac with the lead. Blue Devil basketball. This is Andrews. Andrews looking for Walsh and said the skip pass goes to Bott. Bot, triple threat, down low to Walsh now. Walsh, spin, layup, up, and no good. She gets her offensive rebound back now. Right back to the paint, off the glass, no good. Andrews on the put back, it's up and no good, but she was fouled. She will head to the cellular one free throw line for two shots. Good tenacity there by the Blue Devils to keep that ball alive. You know, three different shots and, and three different offensive rebounds, and, and Lindsey well, Andrews was able to get the foul. First, second, team fifth, and the line for the Blue Devils, Lindsey Andrews. First one for Andrews is up and good. And are those the first points for her this second half? It is. Now 13. She didn't score in the third quarter. Here in the fourth, she has one and still one. She missed it, but good with the offensive rebound. Keeps it alive. This is Bot. Bot from the corner. It's no good. Good pulls it down. Back to Walsh, and she knocks it down. And he got a credit good for that. Good had both the offensive rebounds. After the putback, we are tied at 38, under five minutes left to go in this game. Bot almost stripped it. Now Stewart still has it. She puts Bot on her back and will now be fouled. And that's got it. That'll be Brooke Walsh there on that foul. That's going to be her third foul. The foul on Brooke Walsh, her third, team third. And again, you know, that's what I'm just going to have to do is uh, try to 
get inside. Take so the ball in first. Vincent does get it into Gayhart. Back to Vincent. Vincent to Sprague. Top of the key. Sprague. Going against Andrews now in the corner. Hamilton tripped on the way to the hole, and this will be out of bounds. It will stay with the Lady Trojans, but a good poke right there by Walsh. Yes, because uh, she had her beat. Um, Hamilton had her beat there on the baseline, but uh, long limbs by Brooke Walsh intercepted that. Vincent, the trigger for the Lady Trojans. Underneath their own basket, looking for something inside. Nothing there. She finally gets it to Stewart. A timeout by Nick Hipshire. It's a Meyer timeout. We'll take one as well. Tied at 38. Armstrong, Potomac, and Bismarck inning. Four minutes and 25 seconds left to go in the game on 1490 WDAN and VermilionCountyFirst.com. Full timeout called by the Trojans. Welcome back to the David S. Palmer Arena here on 1490 WDAN and Vermillion County First.com. Matthew Oaken and Susan Kinder in the Jocko and Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken and Shrimps Press Box, the EPFCU Educational Personnel Federal Credit Union Time and Scoreboard reads tied at 38. The Lady Trojans of Armstrong Potomac and the Lady Blue Devils of Bismarck hitting four minutes and 25 seconds left to go in the game. Armstrong Potomac underneath their own basket. They get this one to Ashley Gayhart. Gayhart. Looking for the handoff, puts it on the floor, nothing there, so she will drive, has the pass deflected and stolen away by the Blue Devils. Yeah, Gayard just uh, was not in a very good position with her back to the basket. And uh, Bob, back the other way for the Blue Devils, back to Nelson. Nelson thought about it, pump faked, and then pulled it down. Now will drive off the glass, no good. Out of bounds, it will be Armstrong Potomac basketball. And Susan down the stretch these last four minutes, how much does senior leadership mean to both of these teams? Well, um, for Armstrong with Tomek, it, it means everything because, you know, Abby's, I think, not only uh, their, their spirit leader here, too. I mean, she shows what hustle is all about. Uh, so she's vitally important to what they're doing. And, of course, Brooke offensively. Um, Brooke right now in the second half has been the go-to girl for Bismarck Gang. So both of them have really vital roles here in this fourth quarter. Walsh just picked up her fourth foul. The inbound goes to Stewart on the baseline. Back to Vincent. Vincent will shoot the three. It's up and no good. And a little crowded there for that three-pointer, I thought. An offensive rebound back to Spray for Hamilton for three. And Holly Hamilton knocks it down. Hamilton's having a very good night tonight. Another Tilton Trophy and awards three-pointer. That's your lead. 41-38, to 38, the three-pointer for um, Sean Potomac. Three minutes and 30 seconds. Bot looking for the match. It's up and no good, and it's out of bounds. Last touch by Good and the Blue Devils. Armstrong Potomac basketball. Good hustle there by Good, uh, but just wasn't able to handle, on, handle the ball for, for Bismarck. Sprague will bring it up for the Lady Trojans. Left to right across the 10-second line, going, uh, going against Andrews, excuse me. She has this one poked away underneath. Fred Croner of the News Gazette. You can probably read about the story tomorrow. Yes. And there. It will be a good one, too. Not only that, you two don't really work together, but on the same sports show tomorrow on Sports Talk from 8 until 10. Holly Hamilton, another three. It's oh. up and no good. She was feeling it. Pulled down time. by Nelson. She said, why not? Last couple have gone through. Three minutes left to go in this game. 41-38. to 38. Armstrong Potomac over Bismarck hitting right now. 250 for the game. Andrews to Nelson. Looking looking for Walsh. Walsh inside. Doesn't get it to go over the rim. A jump ball and it will favor Armstrong Potomac. And there's the two seniors uh, going after the ball. And you'd expect nothing less from both teams. A minor timeout for Coach Stevens and the Lady Blue Devils. We will take it as well. 41-38, Armstrong Potomac over Bismarck hitting. Two minutes and 43 seconds left to go in the game on 1490 WDAN and VermilionCountyFirst.com. We go to the east end of the floor. Again, the sportsmanship nominee and winners.
Report to the east end of the floor. Out of the Meyer timeout here at the David S. Palmer Arena in Danville, Matthew Yoker alongside me, Susan Kidner. Holly Hamilton with the basketball for the Lady Trojans. She will drive inside the paint, loses it, picks it up. Now stripped away, ball on the floor. It's going to be a timeout by Nick Hipsher, and the Lady Trojans will take another Meyer timeout. 41 to 38, two and a half left to go for the game on 1490 WDAN and Vermillion County First.com. 30 seconds timeout called by the Trojans. Out of the Meyer timeout, this is Vincent for the Lady Trojans. Now to Holly Hamilton, top of the key. 48 to 31, under two minutes left to go. The skip pass to Stewart was off of her chest and out of bounds. That would be Bismarck hitting basketball, so a key county market bakery turnover right there. I think I'm sure Tom was trying to run some clock off, but uh, ball handling just got in the way a little bit. It's a little rough there. Came off of uh, Abby Stewart's leg. Nelson with the basketball to bot, bot the quick shot up and no good and it's pulled down by Ashley Gayhart and the Trojans. Sprague across the 10 second line going against Andrews. And now ball on the floor, it's ripped away by Andrews. Now a tie up and now actually Stewart rips it away. As Andrews, excuse me, gets it to Walsh. Four or five people had their hand on that ball. Nelson to bot. In the corner for Andrews, skip pass to Nelson. Nelson, free throw line jumper up and no good. Bot lost it on the putback. She gets it back and now will shoot it. It's up and no good. Pulled down underneath by the Trojans and I think there's going to be a foul underneath the basket. I think a little reach in foul on good. That's her fourth. Fouls are even right now for both teams. Five apiece, so still some fouls to give. One minute and ten seconds left to go in this game as Walsh pokes it away. It's going to stay with the Trojans. And Walsh has, you said Walsh has four, four fouls right now. Walsh has four. Abby Good has four fouls for Armstrong Potomac. A couple players with three fouls. As Armstrong Potomac does get it into Vincent. Vincent now to Sprague. Sprague across the ten second line is going to be fouled by Andrews. And she has some to give here. That's her only her first. The foul on Lindsay Andrews, her first, team six. So 63 seconds separates third place. Mike Stevens wants a timeout. We will take one as well. 41 to 38, 63 seconds up to go in the game here on 1490 WDAN. Once again at this time, if all the sportsmanship nominees and winners would report to the east end of the floor.
Another Meyer timeout will take it as well here on 1490 WDAN. Couple Meyer timeouts here at the David S. Palmer Arena. Matthew, go here alongside me, Susan Kinder. This is Holly Hamilton with the basketball for the Trojans. To Vincent, the Trojans with the basketball. They lead by three, 41 to 38. This is Hamilton trapped in the corner. They're going to call Stephanie Bott for the foul. That's going to be her third and the team's seventh, which will send the Armstrong Potomac Lady Trojans to the free throw line. Holly Hamilton to do the honors for the first. One and one. And I'm starting to tell me Casey, uh, trying to finish out their game plan and keep the ball. Keep the ball away from Bismarck in his last few seconds. The one and one is good, so she will get a second crack right here at the Cellular One free throw line. Switch to Cellular One's blazing fast 4G speeds and great rate plans. to get two months of free service to your local store to ask how. Hamilton, second free throw, it's up and good. Yeah, she's been uh, she's been a real spark for the Armstrong Potomac Trojans in this game. They really need to try to get it to into Brooke and see what they can do. This is three Nelson point play to Andrews. Andrews is going to drive inside. It goes to Bob. Now ball still on the floor. Spray hits the deck. Andrews keeps it alive. 20 seconds left to go in the game. Andrews from the baseline. It's up and no good. Walsh has it. Now it's ripped away by Gayhard, and now there's going to be a foul down low. Let's see who they call it on. Armstrong oh, Potomac will shoot the basketball. they shoot the free throws nonetheless. Foul's on. The foul on Abby Good. Abby and Good. So it was the fifth, so she's coming out. And Haley Johnson, the freshman, number three, will be coming out. Haley Johnson. At the line. Hey, so you're one, one and one free throw on the way. Look, uh, we're also a little shook up um, after going to the floor there. She's holding her side. I mean, both teams are really hustling. First one on the way, it's up and good. And free throws down the stretch. Have Has cabs on the Potomac in this game. Second one on the way in this quarter. They are five of six missing that one. 12 seconds left to go. This is Walsh. The bounce pass to Nelson. Nelson will fire. It's up and no good. Sprague pulls it down for the Trojans. She has it ripped away. And then on the baseline, it's going to be Armstrong Potomac basketball with three seconds left. You see a ball on the ground. You see an Armstrong Pot Potomac Trojan right now. So now Bismarck will back off, and that's going to do it. The Armstrong Potomac Lady Trojans are going to win 44 to 38 and take home third place in the 2015 Vermillion County Girls Basketball Tournament here on 1490 WDAN and VermillionCountyFirst.com. Let's take a three-minute timeout here on WDAN.